Hey guys! And welcome to today's video. You might notice that it's a little bit dark inside and that is because the blinds are down because it's so hot. We have such warm weather at the moment. It's really, uh, it's really brutal at the moment. I think it's supposed to be 33 or 34 degrees today, which if you don't really have air conditioning, it's really a high temperature. And I'm talking Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, and the guinea pigs were just lying in their cage and relaxing because the guinea pigs don't really like hot weather either. I have a, <laughs> Fitz is always popcorning in that exact same spot. I have a water bottle or a water bowl outside um, as well um, so that the guinea pigs have water outside but also that we have a bowl and a bottle um, so that the guinea pigs can just drink wherever they feel most comfortable and whatever they need to drink the right amount of water that they need. And the guinea pigs were just lying in a cage, really just flat on the hay, not really moving because they are really not that happy with the temperature either. really brutal for the guinea pigs. Um, I try to keep it like it's called the pea flake box. So I try to keep it kind of cool in this room by having the blinds down and just in general in the morning we open the windows so that some cold wind gets in and then um, as soon as like the sun's, the sun's coming out we just close everything pull down the blinds and then hope for the best for the day. But Long story short, piggies, I got you something, which is probably one of the reasons why you're already running around outside it and just really happy. Um, because one thing is also really nice for the guinea pigs, especially in summer, if you provide them with some cool, watery um, vegetables. And I just got some lettuce for the guinea pigs, which is currently in the kitchen to dry. Nugget is <laughs> licking my foot. Okay, well. Also, just in case you're wondering that there's a different quality of audio. I think probably the quality might be a little bit worse than usual. And that is because I'm filming with my old camera again because the other one needs to load and the other one has a really bad battery. Um, not because it's old, just because it's always been really bad. It's pretty much, the camera is pretty much empty all the time. So I'm currently filming with this camera. So I'm currently filming with the big Canon. Um, and usually I film with a smaller Sony vlog camera um, which is made especially for vlogging so it really picks up um, everything really well when the guinea pigs are moving but the Canon... <laughs> it's just popcorning! I think the Canon does better shots um, if the guinea pigs aren't moving um, it's not that great for vlogging because it's quite heavy okay well I could just found some pea flakes There you go, piggies. Where my fits? Nugget sitting on a pile of lettuce. Fitz loves the water bowl, by the way. So now we have two guinea pigs who like the bowl and then three guinea pigs who have no idea what a bowl is. So Lulu and Fitz like it and they like drinking out of it and everyone else just really doesn't get why I am just randomly putting water somewhere. <laughs> 
I always think you can really tell what a guinea pig is used to by doing the bowl or bottle test. So apparently Lulu and Fitz both come from backgrounds where there was a bowl in their cage or their enclosure. Whereas the other guinea pigs, Fitz, oh, don't eat my camera please. Whereas the other guinea pigs just really are only used to bottles and really have no idea what the bowl is supposed to do. Um, but Fitz and Lulu apparently have gotten used to the bowl from a really young age because my mom adopted Lulu when she was, I think, six weeks old or eight weeks old. Um, oh, Nugget! Showing off the castle as you do. Gatsby has kind of given up with the temperatures being as high as they are. I feel so sorry for the guinea pigs. I mean, it's not really a good temperature for humans either, um, but the guinea pigs really, they have all of that fur and it's really not that easy for them to deal with the uh, high temperatures. Um, it's starting to get a little bit cooler right now because it's later in the day. Um, I pulled up the blinds a little bit because the sun is not shining into the living room directly. You really notice that, that the guinea pigs become much more active later in the day because it just gets a little bit cooler and they, and they just feel so much better when it isn't as sunny and hot. Um, but I think on the weekends the temperature is supposed to level out a little bit and we just get 22 degrees. Much more doable <laughs> than above 30. There she is! Hey Gatsby! I know Gatsby, it's hot, right? We were just in time with Lulu's summer haircut for these high temperatures because Lulu looking like her fur hasn't been trimmed in a couple of weeks really doesn't mix that well with summer. And Lulu is very happy <laughs> with the haircut. Lulu's relaxing a little bit on the ramp. Lumi just went up to the water bowl, looked inside it, dipped her nose in it for a second, but had her mouth closed and didn't have her lip out, and just walked away. <laughs> Lumi very much confused why I put a foot bath for the guinea pigs outside. Lulu now taking a sip. Now Fitz really wants to drink out of it as well. <laughs> oh, I think I need to trim parts of Lulu's hair because the fur right under her chin is soaked now. So I should probably trim that. Well, this is going to be it for today's video. Oh, Fitz is just getting ready <laughs> to party. I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time! Gatsby having <laughs> one foot sticking out of the hay rack. Oh, Gatsby, that looks uncomfortable. Okay. 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 <laughs>